Hi guys, today we're going to be extracting uh, caffeine. Um, for this extraction, you're going to need your um, solvent to extract the caffeine, which is dichloromethane. I mean, that's what I'm going to use. But the product containing the caffeine, which here I have 20 tea bags of tea, and it's bl uh, black tea, or yeah, this is the type I'm using. They come in individual packages. So I got 20 in there. And you're also going to need water and a vacuum filtration system or a regular filtration system. Vacuum is just faster. So what we're going to do is make a just a regular amount of tea from this. And I'll get back to you when that happens. Hi guys. Sorry, I almost forgot to record this part. Um, I just added a little, maybe 15 milliliters of dichloromethane, using, measuring it out, and I poured it into my sep separatory funnel, and as you can see, the, di the dichloromethane, when it first goes in, goes in, it's clear, but it's turning this, almost, you can say, say milky, a thin milky color, uh, that's because the caffeine's dissolving, or sort of transferring into it, so... And all you're going to want to do is just take this and don't shake it, just tilt it back and forth gently. I'm going to do uh, three 15 millimeter washes with the dichloromethane. Um, and then we'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Thanks. Hi guys, uh, this is, I boiled off all the dichloromethane, and just to you know, there was a concerned viewer, and I did do it under my fume hood whenever boiling any solvents, I always do it under a fume hood or outside, so, but here's the caffeine that I've extracted, it's really not all that pure, but, um, I, better than my last yield, which is quite pathetic, honestly, but, um, so that's what I got. Um, I once I maybe do a couple more extractions, maybe at least get a gram. I will try to recrystallize it or uh, evaporate it, and then have it recrystallize in something else. So uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.